I'm Nathan, welcome to the Armory. Today I want to talk about batteries. All right, all of my fun toys take batteries. And by fun toys, I mean my uh, night vision scopes, uh, my walkie talkies, my flashlights, uh, things that a lot of people don't really think about until they actually need them. So uh, I'm a big fan of Doomsday Preppers and watching that show. And I love to, I watch lots of other prepper channels on YouTube. And one thing that hit me is, a lot of these guys that I've seen don't really have, they don't really talk about how they keep their batteries charged uh, or how they would in a grid down situation. So the idea is something bad happens in the world, the electrical lines stop working for whatever reason, and you don't have electricity for an extended period of time. We're talking longer than 48 hours you're out of electricity. So at that point, people start losing their minds and acting erratically. And the biggest danger you have is at nighttime, as soon as your flashlights go down and your walkie talkies stop working uh, and your night vision equipment, if you have that stops functioning, well, you're basically just huddled in the dark, hoping that the moonlight's good enough to protect you as someone might come and approach you. So anyway, I thought a lot about this and said, how on earth will I get my toys to keep working for uh, uh, amount of time without the uh, electricity on. So, first thing I bought is one of these handy dandy nifty solar power battery chargers. This little sucker, you get to stick batteries inside it here and then you tilt it towards the sun and it charges up your batteries and it's, it's quite good, it's nifty and dandy, but if you'll notice, not a really big surface. You're uh, basically at the whim of when the sun's out, so you can't charge at night. Uh, during the daytime, if it's cloudcasty, uh, sorry, if it's overcast, you're going to be getting very little charge into your batteries at all. And usually, by the time you know that you, your batteries are out and you don't have backups ready to go in, you know you're not ready for that. So the key is, if you have one of these, you have to have lots of spare batteries and you have to keep them all topped off so that you're never without batteries. So if you have one of these, do that. But one of the things I realized is my, my night vision stuff and a lot of my flashlights run off these nifty little fat. CR123 batteries. And the CR123 batteries won't charge in this thing. So I can either wall charge them or I can car charge them. And that's when it hit me. Well, I'll just stick this in the car and use that. Well, problem is, is running the car makes noise. And when you run out of gas, well, you're, you're in big trouble. You can't charge these up anymore. And so I was looking around trying to figure out a way around this. You know, I was looking at like, you know, you can buy some type of generator things. They have these, um, uh, flashlights that have a winder thing where you can hook it up and I don't know about you but I don't want to sit here for two hours doing this to get a battery charged I mean that's just not how I want to spend my day and my calories uh, that I've stored up when food might be scarce so I got to looking around and suddenly discovered this this right here is a large solar panel designed to keep your boat and or your uh, car or your RV or your four-wheeler charged up so this basically is a large one that can trickle charge a uh, car battery uh, directly. So what you do is you hook this up, charge your car battery, and then whenever you feel like it with a full car battery, you can go and plug in your little adapter uh, directly to the car battery or plug it in through the cigarette lighter, or you can just hook it up with wires directly to the car battery, and you can charge up your batteries off your car battery. You can do this night or day if your car battery is charged. Car battery holds a lot of energy. You can charge a lot of little batteries with one giant car battery. So again, I really like this method. Uh, again, the little little one's okay, but this big one with uh, the ability to use uh, car batteries to charge my smaller batteries, I really like that. Keep my walkie-talkies running when everyone else can't communicate, uh, and I'm the only one around who can talk, and then my night vision is the only scope that works in the area. I'll feel a lot safer uh, being the only one with a little bit of electricity. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope it was informative for you. I know that uh, by looking at these prepper videos, I really couldn't figure out how they were going to keep their batteries up and running. I'm sure they may have some other method than I do. But again, these were the most cost-effective ways I could figure out to keep all my batteries uh, charged up in an emergency grid-down situation. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. God bless America. Long live the Republic.